judge somebody who's still just trying to like like figure out who they are and figure out their identity they're still dealing with trauma in real time they might be dealing with finally making some money for the first time in life as opposed to uh come on man we're talking about ogs at this point that's 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 not something we should be uh comfortable with and so i have said that we have a lot of what we call ogs in our culture who are really dgs disappointing grown-ups that's what they are brother that's what they are and we have to find a way see i'm starting to catch myself as i say things to where id if you say this does it look like you have an issue with uh specific people and it's like no bro i can't wait to give jim jones a big old hug bro I can't wait like to hug him as as my fellow brother. You know what I'm saying? Both children of God. I can't wait to get Ross and Meek and Joe Budden. But hugs, why would they want to hug you? Why would they because we are both children of God, man. No, but you reprimand me in the public. I don't hug reprimand? those that reprimand. Yeah. Nah, I don't reprimand this no man. Business, that ain't my place. But this is business. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what they would argue, that they want your place to do that. So 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 guess what? So if that's something to where it's, it's, it's seen, cause me, I don't have malicious intentions, bro. I absolutely don't. I gained nothing from saying, yeah, I was able to um, say something about another person on a public platform. I gained nothing from that. There's a back end to all this stuff. That back end, that back end is something to where you got to live with yourself at the end of the day. And what I'm ultimately always trying to do, Loon, is serve God and make God proud. So this ain't David when I'm, when I'm, I'm here right now. You hear me? You're talking to D1. So David don't have this type of platform. D1 got this platform. Man, when I see artists do two things, bro, when I see artists who be on stage performing and they look like they're not into it, I'll be like, me and this person ain't come from the same club because that's such a blessing to have an opportunity to perform your music that took you so much to make and mix and master and market. And now you got people wanting to pay to watch you perform. You better get them people to show. Same thing when you can speak on a platform that's going to be amplified, man. You got to say some stuff that people really need to hear. And, and sometimes for me, I put pressure on myself to be like, D, like, you got you to gotta speak some uncomfortable truths about this culture because if not, the industry has made it to where, man, we just going to have y'all singing and dancing right to the grave. You heard me? How can we cry when Young Dolph, Nipsey Hussle, take off, die due to murders, but we turn around and get in the car after attending the funeral and press play on music that's glorifying that same message. They just had us crying because that person got See, killed. See, that's why I think we keep, we, we keep, I think we're disagreeing on the glorifying of the message because I can't, we still haven't identified any real time. I don't, Lord, Give me something that, that we can actually definitively say that who this. Your, who, who your favorite rapper? Who your Lil Baby. Favorite? Lil Baby, I fuck with Baby. Uh, right now, this is a current, right? So I listen to really just, just really, baby. Fuck, uh, that's really about it for me. For real? Yeah. You don't listen to D1? And I gotta get yeah, on D1. Hey, come on, man. I gotta get on come D1. On, man. I gotta get on D1. I'm talking about like, you know, I'm a gangster. I'm gonna keep it real at all times. Word. So in my, in my playlist, it may be, I know I got baby in there and mostly slow shit because I don't listen to music. Honestly, I okay. listen to audio books all day long. That's all I do. Like to, I, get the, to get the knowledge. Right. Why a dude that's from this culture that didn't grow up in hip hop your whole life, for you to be in a space where you like, man, I don't listen to the same thing that poured into me for so long, but currently I don't listen to it. Why not? Because I, I'm, I, first I was looking at the Super Bowl. Now I'm in the Super Bowl. So I'm in this industry and I, will, I, don't, I don't waste time with uh, being a part of the crowd. I'm actually on the field. So I got to contribute to the game now instead of just taking and listening to the music and being a consumer. I'm now pouring into the game instead of the game pouring into me. Thanks for watching this clip from It's Up There podcast. To see the rest of the interview, click one of the boxes on the screen. Also join Discord and Patreon to be in our community.